what is going on guys my name is paris aka gold sniper 9 and welcome back to a brand new gta 5 video i have created for you guys my goal in today's video is to show you guys something new something that you guys have not seen before in gta 5 online if i have shown you guys something new my goal here is very successful so i want you guys to know that is my goal in today's video so hopefully you guys do learn something new but with that said guys let's get into the first one Coming in at the number one spot on our list, we do have this little abandoned apartment building, or building I should say, warehouse, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to show you guys the location right here on screen. As you do see, right here, just come up to my location and then you would, should be able to find this way. But make sure you do come here with a helicopter, not with a motorcycle, because if you, this is only accessible through a helicopter. So once you do get to my location, all you have to do is just come in here and as you do see right here, this is a little spot where you can actually get to jump on people and hide out here if you do have a bounty on you or something like that. If you do have a bounty or the cops are chasing you or if you want to have like a little standoff with the cops or something like that, you can actually come to this location. But with that said guys, let's move on to number two. Alright guys, coming in at the number two spot, we do have this location over here by the La Mesa area. I will actually show you guys in a minute on the footage where it does actually say come over to this area on the map. If you guys do not know where the location is, I'm showing it right here on screen. What you want to do is make your way over to this location and then make your way over to this ladder, a little ladder. And then once you do make your way over to the ladder, climb all the way up to the top of the building and then find your way over to the second ladder. And then I'm going to show you guys right over here one of the two locations that are, are actually on this roof. This being the first one, which is had, that does have a fire extinguisher in them, in it, excuse me, and there's nothing in this room that is very useful. You can actually just stay inside the corner and aim towards the wall if you really wanted to, or the door, and just wait for anyone to come through. And as soon as they come through, just blast their brains out. You know, one of the two. But with that said, guys, I'm going to show you guys the other location that is actually on top of this roof, which is actually above it, and it's actually pretty useful. This one actually is, it's no bigger than the other one, actually. As you do see the second door in this room is not useful, but there is actually a window so you can actually see people coming, but you can't shoot out the window unfortunately, it is a pain in the ass as you will see, I will try to shoot one of the gang members over here and it actually does not go through the window, it's very unfortunate as you do see, it does not go through. But with that said guys, I'm going to show you guys the next spot coming in at number 3. Alright guys, coming in at the number 3 spot, last but not least, it is the Clock Tower over by Vespucci Beach. In a minute here, I will actually show you guys my mini map, and I know that was a quick one, I'll show you guys one more time. There you go, as you do see. Bear with me guys, I did not actually get footage of me actually opening my map to this. So if you guys do not know where this Clock Tower is, take a helicopter, fly around and look for this Clock Tower. It's right across from the clothing store if you do ask me. Pretty simple and the convenience store is right across from there. So there are two landmarks you guys can actually use to find this. And it's actually across the street from the police department. But as you do see, this little area up here is a pretty good area to snipe people off. And if you have not used this area before, come up to this area, hide here with a bounty. And it looks like you are inside of the building. It's pretty amazing. But with that said guys, there you guys go. There are three secret locations, bounty hiding spots. You may or may not did not know about GTA 5 online. But with that said guys, if you guys have not been active on my channel for a while or so, if you guys are just now tuning back in, I'm doing a survey on my channel which is run by you guys and it's pretty simple. All you guys have to do is just go down in the description below and then it's going to be a link that does say click here and then all you're going to do is just click that one link and then it's going to take you to this little voting poll. And then you guys, all you, all you guys have to do is just vote. All it is is just your simple opinion. Two simple answers. It's a yes or no answer. But I just want to get your guys' opinion on it. This will go on until the end of the month. I just want to see what you guys do think of this. But with that said, guys, that's pretty much it. But hopefully, you guys did learn something new with this video. And hopefully, you guys can't take the time out of your day to do the survey. But with that said, guys, it's been your boy Paris, aka Gold Sniper 9. I'm out, guys. Peace. Man, I work hard. Man, I work hard. Fuck.